Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a new presentation. Today I'm going to discuss about generalized estimating equation that means GEE -E -E is stata. Today I will discuss how to use stata for G analysis. We do not discuss the theoretical part. That means which situation we used G etc. We don't discuss. Today I will discuss only practical session. Let's go to Stata software. This is Stata window. Now we will open the data set. Data long, this is the open example data set. And I have uploaded the data set in my research get account. This is the long data set. Uh, you have to click download, then the data set, the data set will be downloaded. And the link of the data set will be given in the description section. And using the link, you can download the data set. For practicing purpose, I would request, please download the data set from the link. So, open the data set, and this is the variable, this is the time variable, and this is the follow-up variable, and this is the disease 1, disease 4, disease 5, etc. I will discuss detail in the next session. Today, just I will discuss how to start data analysis using Stata for GEE. This is the exposure variable, exposure and R exposure, and this is the other covariate. First, we have to set the time variable. How? Go to statistic, then select longitudinal option, then go to GE. This is the GE option. Click. Now we have to Set the time variable. Please click parent setting. This is ID variable and this is follow up variable. Then OK. Now I have to choose the dependent variable. For let's D3 is the dependent variable and independent variable is the exposure. Since this is a category variable, so we have to type i dot. Now, the distribution. Since the outcome variable, and I would like to estimate odds ratio, so we have to type select logit for binomial. Then another was is correlation. Which correlation is uh, appropriate. We may use extensible correlation and for other correlation we have to discuss first theoretical part. So let's set extensible correlation then these are okay reporting. Reporting the odds ratio since uh, we will estimate odds ratio so we have to select report exponential coefficient then now, OK, yes. This is the finding parts. And you see that the odds ratio is 2.19, and the p-value is significant. So the interpretation is the odds of having the disease was 1.93 times more among the exposed group compared to unexposed group. And this is the significant. And this is, this is the syntax. Then first, we have to copy the syntax and keep the 
keep it in the do file. And this is the syntax for GE setting. And this is the uh, syntax for GE analysis. D3 outcome variable, I dot exposure is the exposure variable. I dot since this is the category variable, so we have to type I dot family is binomial, link the logic, correlation is extensible, and if for means, since our interested to uh, our interested to estimate the odds ratio. Now we may adjust the other covariate, for example. 6 is BMI cat, irrigation, asset index, 6 is category variable, age is quantity variable. So we cannot use I dot, it is category variable, it is category variable, it is category variable. And click OK. Now, this is adjusted or session, and this is unadjusted or session. If we use only one exposure or independent variable, then the odds ratio is called crude, simple, or unadjusted odds ratio. And if we use, uh, adjust the relevant covariate, then the odds ratio is called adjusted odds ratio. That means uh, odds of having or chance of having the disease among exposed group 1.93 times compared to unexposed group. And this is the syntax. And this is the syntax. So please download the asset and practice more and more. Then I will discuss the detail in the next session. So now I'm stopping here. Thank you.